Today's topic is errors and the trial balance as prepared and presented by Mr. J. There are two basic types of errors. Those having no effect on the trial balance and those which unbalance the trial balance. The first type, those having no effect on the trial balance, the, the, the error is not revealed by the trial balance. When they occur, the trial balance still balances. There are six kinds of this type. Next, those which unbalance the trial balance. When these occur, the trial balance becomes unbalanced. This means the totals are unequal. These are three kinds. Today's presentation, we look at errors not affecting trial balance. The first kind is the error of omission. This is where a transaction is completely omitted from the books. For instance, if we sold $90 goods to J. Brewer, but did not enter in either the sales account or in Google's personal account, the trial balance would still balance because we are missing both the debit and the credit for $90. Next, we have errors of commission. This type of error occurs when the correct amount is entered but in the wrong account. Usually, you find it taking place in personal accounts where people have similar names, but it can also take place where you have two accounts of the same type. Example, two real accounts or two nominal accounts or two personal accounts. Next we have errors of principle where an item is entered in the wrong class of account. That is you got your principles wrong. If purchase of a fixed asset for instance such as van is debited in an expense account. Okay so here you have an asset being recorded in an expense account. Next we have compensating errors where errors cancel each other out. If the sales account was added up to be $10 too much and the purchases account was added up to be $10 too much then these two errors would cancel out in the trial balance because you are dealing there with a credit balance and here with a debit balance. This is because the totals of both the debit side and the credit side of the trial balance will be overstated by 10. Errors of original entry. This is where the original figure is incorrect yet double entry is correctly done using the correct figure. Sorry, that should be using the incorrect figure. For example, where a sale should have total 150, but an error is made in calculating the total on a sales invoice. If it were calculated as 130 and 130 were credited as sales, and one to two were debited to the personal account of the customer. The trial balance would still balance. And finally, we have complete reversal of entries where the correct amount are used, but each item is shown on the wrong side of the account. Okay, that is, you got the entry in backwards. Usually, Beginners to PUA make that error very often. 
Suppose we had paid a check to D. Williams for 200, the double entry of which should be debit D. Williams 200, credit bank 200. In error, it is entered as debit bank 200, credit D. Williams 200. The trial balance would still agree. So those were the six types of errors, steps in correcting errors. First, determine what the errors are, whether they are errors of omission, errors of commission, etc. Next, you determine the accounts in which the errors were made. There should be at least two of them for each error. And three, write a journal entry to correct the error in the general journal. And four, post the journal entry to the ledger. First, we have error of commission. An error of commission occurs when the double entry is made for the correct amount, but a mistake is made so that the debit or credit entry is made in the wrong account in a particular ledger. Our illustration on February 23rd, a supplier, M. Raja, was paid 1100 by check in settlement of the amount due. The entries were made as follows. In the cash book, M. Raja, 1100 and K. Raja is debited with 1100 So um, we have it correct in the cash book, but the wrong person's account is debited. So in order to correct that error, you have to cancel out this one here. You cannot erase it with an eraser and you cannot use uh, liquid paper, white off. You have to write a journal entry reversing this out. So the way to do that would be to credit, put in a credit here, and then we go to the correct account, which is M. Raja, and we will debit his account with it. So we write a journal entry, it's down here, February 23rd, M. Raja, 1100, K. Raja, 1100, and we write in a uh, short narrative saying what it is correction of error of commission you must have this narrative otherwise any other person reading this will not be able to tell what you have done here okay so you have to write a short narrative uh, you could learn off this if you want for errors of commission and anytime you write in a journal entry with an error of commission you would include this the next error we will look at is the correction of an error of commission omission And we have an example here. On June 3rd, 2018, a credit note was received from a supplier, Charrel Limited, for 330. However, it was misfiled and no entries were made. It was found on 22nd of June and the error was corrected as follows. Okay, so um, here we have identified the error. And um, the account that it would be is the supplier, Jarrell Limited. And uh, it's a credit note from a supplier, so the other account would be the return outwards account. And uh, to correct it, 
we just have to write it into the books because it's missing. Okay, so we know when you make a, a return to a supplier, we debit their account and we credit return our code with the amount. All right, and again, we write in the short narrative correction of error formation of credit note number B372. Okay, so again, uh, the fourth step, we're going to post these to the relevant account now. They are limited. Return our card. They are limited. We have a debit for 330. Return our cards. The credit. Then we just exchange the names in here. Okay. Correcting an error of original entry. On 27th of January 2018, an invoice was sent to a customer, Katie Evans, for $978. The accounts clerk misread the figure as $798. As a result, the entry in the sales book was for the wrong figure, and the following double entry was made. Debit Katie Evans, $798, and credit sales, $798. Notice the accounts are correct, and the debit and the credit is correct as well, but the figure itself is incorrect. Okay, it should have been 978. Okay. Right, so when we are correcting the error, we cannot put in 978 again. We already have 798 in the account. Okay, so we put in only the difference between two figures, and that is the difference is 180. So we need to put 180 into Evans' account and 180 into the sales account, and we can do that with the following journal here debit accounts receivable, KT Evans 180, and credit sales with 180. All right, correction of or error of original entry as in narrative. We go to KT Evans and we notice we already have the 798 in, so we only have to put in 180. When we add these two together, we should get back the original figure here, correct figure of 978. And uh, similarly, in the sales account, when we put in the 180, these two should total the correct figure of 978. Okay, we'll next look at correcting an error of principle. And we have an example here again. On 17 August 2018, a check for 490 was paid for repairs to machinery. The accounts clerk made the following entries for this transaction. Debit machinery, 490 credit bank 490. The error was to record the payment in the wrong type of account. That is an asset account rather than an expense account. Okay, so this is the error. And the accounts would be machinery. Notice it's entered correctly in the bank account. So it should have been an expense account, machinery expenses. So the two accounts involved would be machinery and machinery expenses or machinery repairs. Okay, so we go to the general journal and we need to put it in, in machinery repairs or repairs 490 and we need to take it out of the machinery account here. So machinery is credited with 490. Okay. Again, we write the narrative correction of error of principle. Machinery, we put in the amount 490 to reverse out this, and then we put it in correctly in 
repairs account here okay um we we look at compensation error this occurs when two or more unconnected errors happen to cancel each other out compensating errors are rather rare because they rely on coincidence correcting a compensating error an account clerk made the following errors during september 2018 september 14 the entries made to the payment of wages in cash of 760 or debit wages 670 credit cash 760 okay notice the credit in cash is correct all right and uh, but the debit in wages is incorrect on the 30th the sales book was incorrectly total the correct total was 53.90 but the clerks entered 5300 in the sales book and credited the sales account with 5300 as a result again notice the uh, error is in the sales account for 90 right she transferred from the journal incorrectly so we have an error for 90 here and the difference between this one and the correct figure of 760 is also 90 so wages is a debit sales is a credit and they would cancel each other out okay so what we need to do is put in the difference in each one of the accounts for this you have to know whether an account has a debit balance or a credit balance so you need to know your debits and credits here okay so we debit wages with 90 and we credit sales with 90 and uh, the correction of a compensating error okay we go to the accounts and we notice we only put in any difference right sales 90 wages 90 we do not put in the whole amount again so we come to the final one error of complete reversal this occurs when the amount is entered in the correct accounts but the debit and credit entries are switched around errors of reversal need a little more care when they are corrected because in effect it is necessary to make two sets of entries one pair of entries to cancel the mistake and a second pair of entry to record the correct entries okay so we have an example on 28 October 2018, the owner of a business withdrew a check for 400 for private use. So that's drawings, okay? The account clerk made the following entries, which are the wrong way around. He debit the cash book instead of crediting it, and then he credit drawings. Okay, it should have been the other way around. So, uh, what we have to do is cancel this out and cancel this out and then we have to put it in correctly and that, so that means we have to put two 400s here and two four times 400 here which gives us 800 okay so whenever you have a complete reversal of entry taken please the way to correct it is to double the amount and uh, enter it correctly so we enter it correctly in the drawings account as 800 and we enter it in the bank account as a credit of 800 
on the narrative again. So when we look at it in the to the general ledger, we will notice we have 800 here, which will cancel out this four, 400 and leave 400 correctly here. And same thing would happen here. This 800 would cancel out the four and you'll remain with four here, correct. Okay, so that's the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching.